To slow the spread of COVID-19 this week, uh, Governor Ducey talked about increased enforcement against bars that simply don't abide by the measures. Two states are closing their bars as cases rise there. It's something Arizona is not doing. And ABC 15's Mike Pelton is live in the Scottsdale Entertainment District for us tonight. Uh, this area has been under the microscope for weeks now, Mike. Yeah, and Katie, as you mentioned today, Texas and Florida making the decision to essentially close down bars. So we asked the governor's office why Arizona is not joining that list. Meanwhile, it's not a mandate, but many of the bars called out by the governor yesterday and labeled as bad actors are now choosing to temporarily close their doors. For weeks, busy bars put on blast around Old Town Scottsdale. This week, management groups that operate many of them temporarily closing their doors. Although it comes after the Department of Liquor sent notices to more than a half dozen locations, basically saying comply or face a penalty. Scottsdale police actually charging Riot House with a misdemeanor for allegedly falling short on masks and physical distancing. There are multiple other restaurants slash businesses that are being observed and documented. And uh, that's kind of how far I can go right now. But those, those, uh, those investigations are ongoing. Riot Hospitality Group manages Riot House and two other bars nearby. A spokesperson says they haven't seen the evidence and says they've gone above and beyond, but are voluntarily closing through the weekend. You and I are not scientists and not doctors, so we can't comment on how and why it's spreading. But again, if we had that opportunity and we took the opportunity to voluntarily close to limit the amount of people here in Old Town, we did that because we thought it was the absolute right thing to do. On Friday, other bars or clubs like Maya and Bottled Blonde also temporarily closing, but it's no mandate. Also on Friday, the Republican governors in Texas and Florida essentially closing bars across their states amid a surge of COVID-19 cases. We asked Governor Ducey's office, why not go that far? His communications director sending me a statement. It reads, quote, this is a tool that remains in our toolbox and all options remain on the table. We will take any and all actions necessary. We have strengthened enforcement action against bars and as a result, you have seen many shut down. Those that break the rules will face penalties up to and including the loss of their liquor license. Now, when you gauge public sentiment on this issue, take it for what it's worth. It's not a scientific poll. But on social media today, I asked the question, should Governor Ducey close bars in Arizona? Nearly 2,000 people responding throughout the day, 87% say yes. For now, we're live in Scottsdale tonight. Mike Pelton, ABC 15, Arizona.